Hey everybody, here's my ugly mug again, and we are here back in Bekong at the vegetable market. Did I bring you back? And here we are. And I got my bigger phone that I don't really like, but has much wider screen. Well, I can get this video properly, and where we are is out in front of Mercury Judd, across the street from what is supposed to be a new mall, opening in 30 days. And I know, you look at it, you go, oh my God, 30 days, are you serious? Trust me, that's what the one over there at the store in town looked like 30 days ago. I was shocked to find it open. Well, let's see what we have. How are you doing? Then we have modern digital scale. It might be in the third world, but the modern world is here. Another digital scale. bought our vegetables the other day and no one's looking for lumpia wrappers because we didn't buy enough. We're making lumpia for the wedding. Instead of, it's traditional here when <coughs> you get married. Everybody that comes to the wedding, you must take to a party. Because if that's the way it is. Yes, How are you doing? How are you doing today? Good? Good day today? Nice today. At least in the shade. Nice in the shade. Nice breeze going. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. We got watermelons today. They almost always have watermelon. Oh, I'm surprised this one's shut down. I don't know why nobody's here today. There's a brown out today. Surprised there's not poor people here. Hello. How are you today? No, we got vegetables yesterday. I'm just shooting video today. Oh, okay, vegetables. You got anything special okay, today hi. to show us? Say hello, YouTube. Hello. <laughs> you have anything special today that you don't normally That's have? That's your wife? No, she's over there. She's, oh. buying, she's way up there buying buying some lumpia oh, wrappers. Okay. Oh, she's looking here. Ah, anything very special today that you have? Yes. Special fruit you don't normally yes, have today? Fresh. What What do you have? It's special. No, no, that means special. Something different than normal. Mm, different. No, nothing different today? Nothing Same? Different. Same? Same. Okay. Nice meeting you. What's your name? Annabelle. Annabelle. I'm Morgan. Very nice meeting you, Annabelle. Okay. Your wife is looking her. Oh, I know. You're making her <laughs> nervous. Yeah. He thinks I'm flirting with you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm covering up the damn microphone again. Oh, of course, here's the local pussycat. With the crooked tail. Hello, pussy cat. Meow. Mm. Like, I do not know you. Like, I hold the camera from one side, it covers up the camera. I hold it from the other side, it covers up the mic. That is one thing I like about the other older phone. I have an external mic I can plug into that one. I cannot do it with this one. And this one doesn't fit. This is wider than all my other phones. It does not fit in my little hand bracket. And they still even the, the hanging scale there is digital. And this is breadfruit. They call it something else here, but it's breadfruit. And here we go. This is this is where the other stands weren't. They weren't here yesterday. They don't have as big a market as they do up in Valencia but they have a lot of stuff and probably the prices are better than Valencia prices for almost a lot of things here in Bacong are a little cheaper than do Maggetti or Valencia mostly because the weather here is hotter a lot of people don't want to live here because it is hotter but it seems to be less rainy than other places so the humidity doesn't seem bad I guess this is a reasonably hot day but I can live with it. Although, like I said, I'm from southeastern Pennsylvania, near Philadelphia, where it gets extremely hot in the summertime. And uh, literally air is so thick, it feels like you can move it with a shovel. And I have yet to feel that here anywhere in Philadelphia yet. But I haven't hit a day where it's 40 C, which is close to 100, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I'm quite not used to the the uh, Celsius versus Fahrenheit. 
And today there's not as many. There's usually a little bit more. Although we're here, it's like 11 o'clock, I think. And we're gonna go from here to, and I'm gonna, we don't need any fish, but I'm gonna go ahead and go up to where the fish is and video there as well. Things change every day around here. Including the dog. There's another new dog. Hello, doggy. Is that? I don't know you. And let's take a walk all the way down because there's some people setting up way down here. And we are considering coming down and starting to sell cornbread, which you cannot get here in the Philippines. But we have figured out a way to get cornmeal. And Helen has cooked very good cornbread. I even ordered a cast iron bread pan from Amazon. And she's made cornbread in the bread pan. And I will splice that picture in if I can. I am somewhat limited on the phone's memory to be able to add photographs. I don't know what she's setting up down here. They're still setting up. Oh, is this a puppy? Puppy? Can I see? Oh, it's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. He's pulling a rabbit out of the bag. <laughs> he's, like, he's tying it in there so it can't get away. And they're still setting up here. I don't know what they're going to be selling. There's a van here that's still setting up. And this is a big barangay uh, auditorium here. These things are all over the place in the Philippines. Uh, and here's one of the little mini the Jeeps modded. Mod these are basically, um, most of the time, I like a Toyota motor. They're not a Jeep. They're custom made to look like a Jeep. And then they drop whatever motors in they want. Let's walk back up the other way. Here we've got seven minutes in. I'll go back a little faster. If there's something you guys wanted to see, you'll see it again. And this is the local business. This is where you come to pay your electric bill. And uh, we hadn't paid, the, well, no, I'm sorry. I think it's where you come to pay your like electric bill. I mean, I, brain dead, brain dead, reset. <laughs> this is where you go to, I believe, pay your water bill. The electric bill you have to go into Dumaguete for. Which we already did a video on that. That's over near Robinson's Mall. Sorry, I tend to get locked in. Oh, man, look at the size of this place. Man, look. Big old, I don't know where this tree just came from. Wow, I don't see a single leaf up there above me that's as big as that leaf. I don't know which tree it came from, but that's a big one. I'm convinced this tree here is getting ready to drop some branches. I found, I've seen a whole bunch of rotted pieces of tree over here the other day. I don't know what those They kind of look like the little lemons, but I don't think those are lemons. String beans, cucumbers, peppers, green tomatoes, by the look of it. Maybe that's what those are, green tomatoes. But potatoes, carrots, onions, lots of onions in the Philippines. And the onions tend to be on the small side. I don't know if they just dig them up quick or they just don't grow that big. The white onions you tend to see are a little bigger. Uh, red onions are always tiny. And these, they call these lemons, but I believe they're limes. And there's somebody always singing. And garlic, lots of garlic available. Hello, Hello how are you doing? And because it's Sunday, they're selling stuff for inside the church. And trinkets for the kids. This is common here. This is the entrance to the church. And I always see these little stands filled up with stuff on Sunday. There are candles to buy for the, I guess for prayers. I don't know where they burn them here. Maybe I should walk over here and check out this bell tower, guys. This thing's cool. I would love to get up in that bell tower and do some video. 
Let me see if I can go over it. Now, people gave me crap the last time for going inside of a church. They neglected to look and see the smiles on the faces of everyone that looked up and saw me videoing. Don't assume people are upset because you're upset. It's not, and I wasn't there during a service. I was during the prior to the service. When I went back in and saw the service was running, I backed out. I was in a little side door and not much involved in the service. And again here, I do not see a service running. We have a nice screen here. Keep the bugs out. Oh yeah, it's empty in here. Nobody in here. Well, no, there's a couple people down the end. My. This one doesn't have the big ceiling fans, but oh, there's, it looks like a big pipe organ up there. Oh, that's just too interesting. I have to go get a better look. Nobody's up there. There's a staircase. And this is right in downtown Bakong, but there's not really a downtown per se in a lot of these towns. It's just where there's a little bit more buildings. Pilgrim's Prayer Association about to... I'm looking at this here. I, don't know, I can't spend the time to read that right now. Oh, these are very steep stairs. Oh, wow, and they're like 12 inches high. Yeah, I don't know if I want to climb this right now. Yeah, but what I wanted to, yeah, it is an organ. Yeah. Now oh, these steps. Look how tall they are. And I'll measure that when I get home, I, I almost guarantee you. Now here's a stool. It's just a little bit taller than the step. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's various plaques in here. This is probably for holy water. I wouldn't know. I don't know if you can see the plaque very well. It looks like it's in the Cyan, partially in English. I don't know if they've already had services or whether we're between services. Let me go once around. I'm back up and maybe I'll make a little bit longer video than I was planning. I notice they're all numbered. I don't know the purpose of the numbers other than maybe certain people arrange to have specific locations. Or to get tell people, oh, I'm in number 77, come and meet me. I don't know. Very, very ornate church, very nice. I've been in churches in, in Europe and it doesn't compare to those, but they're usually very tiny. And let's face it, they stole all the money from the Americas and everywhere else, brought all the gold there, and that's why they're more ornate than they are here. Hello? Hello. Getting ready to services soon? What time for the service? 4.13. Ah, you have morning as well? Yes. Ah. 6, 8 or 10. 6, 8 or 10. Hello. Are you the priest? No. No, no? I'm I don't know. Sacristan. Huh? Sacristan. Sac Sac Say it again? Sacristan. Acolytes. No, no. That is. is the mass of the priest. Ah, okay. Well, good meeting you. Hello. Nice meeting my you. Morning. I'm Joseph. Joseph? Nice meeting you. Oh, my father's name. Joseph. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> only only he was Jewish. <laughs> well, may I go up here? May I go up in video? Thank you. They're letting me go up where the priest go and do a little video. That's good. I hope to see somebody say me I'm being disrespectful now. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I don't know where this off limit. Priest only. Yeah. And then we got one candle burning. I don't know if I should walk across. No, I don't want to walk across the carpet. My shoes might be dirty. Snap a picture of that 
Yeah, that might be a good thumbnail. Oh, more carpet. I want to walk on that. <laughs> I've always been someone who's been into uh, comedy. And one of the, and I actually brought it up to the priest one day because I don't know enough about Catholicism to make it work. But to do a bit where the basically you treat the audience like they're in the entrance to the decision of whether you go to heaven or hell. And then you start like, okay, all the lawyers, you follow Hitler here out the door. You know, I mean, something like that. I've never gotten into it enough to really write the, the bit, but I've always thought of doing a uh, skit comedy. And I just never, I never put the effort into uh, and developing a uh, a routine. Very interesting church. Oh, let me sneak out over here. I think I can go out this door over here. Wait a minute. Let me go out the back door. Yeah, I might, might leave the fish out of this video because it will get too long. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we we're planning to go over to the fish market after. And I, when I shut the video down and have to restart it, I have to use a program that requires enough, enough room to create, basically double the data. And that's where I run into problems with um, not enough uh, memory in the phone to do it. Oh, I've never been back over here. And there's another small church thing. And I've noticed that before at the church in, in Dumaguete. They had a small exterior church and this is actually part of a school back here. This might not be part of the church, part of the school. And I might as well go right around the block here, guy. Okay? There's people hanging out. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to go in here and bother them. But this is a school. A lovely little dwelling. I assume that's probably the priest's house. And this is a school here in Bakong, high school. This has always been an interesting building to me, this. But it's a brick with then timber frame on top. I'd love to get inside and check out the inside, but I'll have to stop down when somebody's around. A lot of times it's just about, or let me walk further away from the building to get a better view. This is just a really cool building, I love it. It's a very kind of half European, and it could be quite old. I don't know the history on it. I should look it up. And then here's the school. Kong Holy Family High School. Now, be aware, if you are of a different faith other than Christian, you will find a church here. I've seen mosques. I've seen Latter-day Saints. I have seen, I think there's one right down the street, a Latter-day Saints. There is Jehovah's Witnesses. I've seen multiple Jehovah's Witnesses. There is Protestant, which my Helen happens to be. They don't say Protestant. It's a weird convolution of names I've never been able to figure out what she tells me but I've just really always liked this building it's a very cool looking building if I ever had money to build a house I think I'd build it in that kind of style with a concrete bottom and wood top and that's the back of the church over there I gotta watch where I'm going almost tripped now you really gotta watch the ground here you gotta watch above below right to left everywhere here um, always something a little bit off here and there they, they just accept that sometimes the sidewalks are screwed up and everybody just accepts it and moves on uh, nice and cool here in the shade and uh, what's in front of me used to be the public market and is still being utilized partially it's interesting to see what will happen with it but this whole section here 
It's not occupied, and that was the public market. And I'm gonna walk around the other side of this truck so you're not, your view is not obstructed. If I get killed, it's your fault, folks. And this is right where John crashed. And I told him this morning, he's up and walking around quite a bit. And post no bills. And I want banners thrown up here. Oh, there's a little bitty house in there. I just noticed that back in there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. I don't know if that's a little... Yeah, it's focusing on the bar, sorry. Uh, on the metal up front. And I just got done redoing these sidewalks. They put new drainage here in Pecan on both sides of the road. And they're repaving. This is all repaved here. They paved over the concrete and nice and smooth now. Most of the time the concrete here is bumpy. They do a reasonably good job, but in a trike that has got a very stiff suspension, it's quite noticeable. And there's a woman that sells food. This is actually, when you're in Mekong, that's where you put your trash. And right there at night, a woman sets up and sells food. And she must have some really good food because people do buy it. <laughs> She's literally right there where the trash is piled up and it stinks. But this hopefully will have a supermarket in it. I really do hope it has a supermarket in it. I am looking at a house down the road that way. Uh, about a mile. That is a Philippine. It actually looks like a house built possibly by an expat, but maybe 50 years ago. Concrete, these are windows, but they need to be cleaned. But the interior needs to be redone. People are actually using it right now, but it is. Um, not ready for European to rent unless you want to get it super super cheap and you'll have to fix it and get yourself. Okay, here's pregnant mama. Hey pregnant mama. Oh, how are we doing? Did you find your lumpia wrappers? You did. Marvelous. There's a rumpia wrappers there. Do we buy more vegetables? More vegetables? For Lao Oi. For Lao Oi? Yeah, Sabao. What? Oh, for Sabao. Sabao means soup, everyone. Yeah, okay, I'm here, you take soul. this. And I'm going to pause it. Fish. No, we got fish. They don't have fish. Uh, not fish. Ah, oh, there. Oh, there's a yeah. lot of What? Oh, my goodness, look at that thing. I, I got to get a closer shot of that thing. That was Mamsa. 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 Let's let you take a good look at this big fish. Big fish. How much per kilo? Which? Uh, 400. 400 a kilo? And these? 500. 500 a kilo. Might as well take a quick walk through the work. Wasn't going to stop, but. We already, we already did. I'm not going to take a quick walk down. I hear they're selling chicken. chicken. Shrimp. How much per kilo? 380. 380 a kilo for shrimp. How much per kilo? <laughs> Free? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Old ladies are free here, folks. <laughs> I might as well go ahead and walk right on down. Helen doesn't know I'm doing it, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Now, we should have got out here a little earlier. We want to be out here before noon. We're close to noon right now. Hanging out today. What most of the Filipinos do is either hang out or hang out and drink. <laughs> Oh, I'm not to, trying to keep my hand off the damn microphone. Okay, just making sure this thing's still running. It looked like it had stopped. The other day at that fish market, I saw four huge tunas over there, but 
we didn't have the I didn't have the smartness to stop and video that. Well, you do see the big fish in there from time to time. They usually uh -huh. already cut up. These weren't even cut up yet. How much per kilo for these? Two hundred forty, sir. Two forty. Yeah. Oh, look at this. That one's pretty. These are mussels. How much for these per kilo? One twenty, sir. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> Yeah, the video didn't stop. <laughs> and I didn't turn the camera upside down. Oh, what is this here? This is, I see this stuff all the time. I don't know if it's the coconut alcohol. What is, what is this? What is this? Oh, this is the vinegar, okay. You see guys walking around with bottles like that. I think it's alcohol. Much busier down here. And we bought our fish the other day. And here's tuna, big fish. It's always been How much? How much per kilo? Five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred. And four fifty for the slice. And there's some more vegetables down the end here. Ah, more fish. Yeah. More fish coming in. Yeah, all on ice. Yeah, I know you don't see it out iced up, but um, hang on, let me turn the camera around. You don't see it iced up on the table. Sometimes you do. But they dump cold ice water on it. <laughs> like the one thing that I really liked about seeing the videos of Thailand was, uh, was and Vietnam and such was that the fish was laying in ice. But when you touch the fish, you'll usually find it pretty cold. So they don't they don't let it go too long. They make sure it stays reasonably cold. Sorry about the video. I need a freaking I don't have my hand handle. I'm holding it all in my hand and uh, walking down the street trying to watch where I'm going to. <laughs> And uh, it's deceiving that you think that you know you might be buying old ratty fish, and maybe certain times of the day you may, depending on who you go to buy your fish from. But in general, it's pretty fresh. Uh, I usually send Helen to buy it because she knows what to look for. And I'm not a big fish guy anyway. I don't know which fish to buy. Uh, the one time I did buy a fish, I bought too damn much, and uh, she had to package it up quite a bit. So I let her buy the fish, and I go buy the hamburger. Because <laughs> when I might eat, that's pretty much the only beef I can eat at the moment. So hopefully we'll be getting dentures for me in the next couple of months. I'll pay for the wedding, gotta pay for the baby. Might eat some after that. Ugh. Hopefully, I just heard, I watched, I watched the guy on the channel, it took me two years to get a social security number for a child. I hope it doesn't take that long to get the money for a child added on. I don't know. Freeze, freeze too much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here we are back at the other fish market. And of course, a uh, dog. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. No? I don't know you. <laughs> Here's my lovely woman. Hey, baby. Say goodbye to everyone on YouTube. Say goodbye. Have a good day. Have a good day. Okay. That's all, folks. Have a good one.